Okay, it's another lovely finish. We'll just deburr again. That should be lovely and square. Not a sausage of light through there. I probably should be using a bigger one, but that's all right. I did take time to set it up. The bottom end here isn't touching properly because it wasn't quite square with the sides that we milled earlier. Clean all the rubbish off here. him upside down. Put a little bit of paper down. Check it on the base here. It'll probably just be a light skim across across here just to trim up a little bit. Sure makes a mess, alloy filings everywhere. Okay, we'll fire him up. Zero him out. see the mark at the back there still yeah you can just see the shadow through there by the finder 
So we're just not touching over that side, so we'll drop him down ten there. And we'll come back this way and we'll just see if it makes a makes it nice and nice and level, I suppose. That's not a bad finish at all. With my little square here, we actually I'll take the burr away. That's pretty good. I reckon I might oh, just a tad of light under there, maybe. Bloody close. Good enough for an old Fergie Carby, anyway. Well, you have to excuse the rain, it's just pouring down in Bundy Bear's head, but anyway, a bit of noise won't hurt. But look, this is what we're doing to mark out the holes so we can bolt the top of the carby on and look what we've done I have a quarter inch ream, a long Briggs and Stratton ream I had and the shaft where the butterfly goes is quarter inch so the bushes the shaft wear on one side so we have it pushed across we have it pushed across one way with the ream in the chuck and We've used our transfer punches to mark up, mark all our holes out. So that should be a good thing, I'm thinking. Um, I can take the pressure away from there. We can see our little centre pop marks. You mightn't be able to, but I can. <laughs> we'll bring the table up out of the way. Yeah, we're there. Yeah, you can just, just see them there. But anyway, so what next? Well, we'll centre all these, and we're going to drill them to six by one point, six by one millimetre, and that'll give us look around sixteen mil of thread which will be plenty to hold this housing down firm and with doing it like this um, up on the end we know this is square here so um, with all that being square we should be able to sit this in a vise or sit this against our surface our angle plate like we have sit him down and we know 
that our shaft will be square. So once we bolt the, the top of the carby to the plate here, then we just need to put the ream in, make sure it's okay, nip the bolts up, and then we're free to bore the housing. So next step, we'll do some boring and tapping. Well, it's still raining. I've got the holes bored. Five millimeter for a 6.1 thread. So, remember last year here in Forbes, mucked me around a bit and they gave me a chance to have a couple of goodies just to shut me up, probably. Well, anyway, <laughs> this here, this was one of them. It was just a, a magnetic base to get the um, get the tap started right, and well, I've never used it, so so I've put my aluminium magnet on, since it's an aluminium block. You just hold that down and away we go. I can't really see much there. I'll come around the other side. That might be a bit better view. We're just using some A9 aluminium cutting fluid. It's about buggered. Right, so that's the tape and tap. Just to check that the thread's going to work. So that'll mean the magnet doesn't hold it very well, does it? That'll be fine. We'll actually run down with a bottoming tap. So I'll tap all these and then we'll come back. Okay, we've got all the holes tapped. And I just use a little hand countersink to bring them in. It's only aluminium. So what we should be able to do is put that on the right way. Put a few Allen screws in. Let's charge you ain't putting them all in loose. That gives us a little bit of movement there. So what the idea is now to find the ring. <laughs> oh dear. I'm going to set this up. Set this up back this way. I'm just going to reach over you here for a second. I'll see what I've done with the ring. I'll go and have a look and I'll come back. Okay, so the idea now, the, we have left it loose, and we have our movement here. So we've got it, we've got it up the, we've got the ream there, the quarter inch ream. We had to pull it this way a little bit. 
So with this plate down, once we nip the screws up, And then we can, once we know it's sitting tight down there, we can just rock him back and forth until we get to zero. That's zero there. So we just nip this one up now. Nice and evenly. Okay, so that there should be at 90 degrees this way and 90 degrees that way. So we should be able to ride him up out. So the idea for me now would either be without a vice here, the idea of the whole bracket was to be able to clamp the bottom of this bracket in the vice if we needed to. If you have your vice crammed in, you can do it like that. And then the other way I had in mind was to use something, probably not this bit of aluminium I have, but just to get the point over. So I can clamp this to the angle plate behind there and in that position there we know we're pretty right to we're pretty right to go. So uh, what I would still do is um, I'd still put a little center finder in here. I'll just take this up a little bit further. That's the go. Then we can get this ream out of the way here. And then what I would probably do is just drop my center finder in. And I know the wear is on this back here. So if I touch off here, touch off here, and go for the centre line. Once I touch off at the back here, I should be able to come to the centre and that will give me the exact measurement I need. So, once I get it in there, I can actually... touch off. and find my centre of the hole. So I'm pretty sure I'm vertical as you know, we've taken it over a, quite a distance through here. So now that would just ensure we're on the centre. Okay, job done. And another part we may do is make a flange in the centre here somewhere. 
make a flange so we can actually bolt this surface up to the plate as well. Well here we go, we've got a bit of progress on the shed, on the Queensland Tractor Spares new buildings. Oh well it's the old building, we're just renovating. Nice big beam going through. But yeah, there'll be a bit of room. We've got one more up where this trailer is for, that's the receipt and dispatch. We've got all the beams in. And you can see the shadow side here, that's where the, all the floorboards are in. And we have where the ladder is over there, that'll be the stairs to go upstairs. And then when we come around this pole here, looking at that back wall there, the trailer's in the road a bit, but looking at that back wall there, that'll be all slat wall, and we've just bought some big steel toolboxes to go there. And then the counter will be in the foreground here a little bit. So it's not all that big, but it doesn't need to be. That's out going out the front again, so yeah, it's looking good. The builder's got his trailer in here with a bit of junk, but look, I'll go up the ladder and we'll have a look around up there. Right, and up the second story. We've got half the floor down. A lot of flooring to go yet. All over this side, near the front there, that'll be our offices. We're going to run the offices over through there, and she should be all good. So yeah, it's good to see progress. The bank account doesn't like it, but that's alright. We knew it was going to pop into that. <laughs> 